when you constantly thinking about someone's God could be telling you this. When you think of a certain individual, has it ever occurred to you that those thoughts could be genuine God's indicators that the person is thinking about you? There is truth to spiritual indications, and everyone experiences them occasionally. What? You don't think about them at all? Allow me to refresh your memory. Have you thought about phoning a friend or loved one and immediately you receive the desired call? That is the very topic of our discussion. So let's dig into the video. When you involuntarily keep thinking about some, there lie some of God's indications. Here are four popular explanations for why God might be letting you dwell on a specific individual's thoughts. Number one. God will allow you to keep thinking about someone because he has given us authority over our minds. The first thing that needs to be brought up in relation to our thoughts is the fact that God has given us control over what we choose to think about as well as what we choose not to think about. Therefore, there are instances when the meaning of the thoughts we have has nothing to do with whether they are positive or negative, rather, they simply indicate that we are allowing ourselves to think about something. Take note of the various commands that are given to us throughout the Bible with regard to our ideas. These commands demonstrate that God wants us to exercise self-discipline over our thinking. According to the verse in Colossians chapter 3, verse 2, set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. In addition, the New International Version of Romans chapter 13, verse 14 adds, rather, clothing yourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ, and do not ponder about how to please the desires of the body. Therefore, the first conceivable reason God is letting you think about someone is that God permits you to think about whatever you want to think about. This means that God is enabling you to think about someone else. It's possible that the only sign of your thoughts on this individual is that you've made the conscious decision to think about them. Number two. God will let you think about someone because he created our thoughts to reflect what is going on in our hearts. Even if the fact that we have control over our own thoughts is the place to begin this discussion, it is clear that this is not the conclusion of the topic at hand, which is why God may be permitting you to think about a certain person. The idea that our thoughts were formed by God to be directly connected to our hearts is another essential truth that may be gleaned from the Bible. In other words, what we are contemplating is a representation of what is also taking place within our emotions at this very moment. In the book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 19, Jesus is quoted as saying, For out of the heart come wicked thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false testimony, and slander. When you find that you can't stop thinking about a certain individual, it's a good sign that there's something going on in your heart in relation to that person. Asking yourself, what is going on in my heart that is causing these thoughts about this person, is often more helpful than simply ignoring your thoughts and trying to push them away. Rather than just ignoring your thoughts and trying to push them away, it's often more helpful to ask yourself this question. There are many possible responses to this question, however, in points 3 and 4 of this article, I will discuss two of the most common explanations for what may be going on in your heart that is causing you to think about someone else so much. These explanations are for what may be causing you to think about someone else so much. Number three, God will allow you to keep thinking about this person as a sign you need to move on from this person in your heart. Because our minds are designed to assist us in acquiring what we require, when you believe that this particular somebody is the only solution to your misery or loneliness, you will find that you are constantly thinking about them. When you start to feel thirsty, your mind will automatically begin to formulate a strategy for obtaining water. If you are ill, your mind will start to go through the various possibilities of what may be done, asking questions such as, do I need to rest? Should I go to the store and pick up some over-the-counter medication? Or should I make an appointment with the doctor? My argument is that it is only normal for your mind to focus on the things that you believe you require. If you truly believe in your heart that you cannot be happy without this one particular person, then your mind will naturally go to thoughts of this individual. The presence of obsessive thoughts is frequently an indication of a compulsive worry that is brought on by the conviction that the individual lacks something that they require. In all honesty, what we are talking about here is idolatry. What exactly does it mean to look up to someone as an idol? 
Idolizing another person means that you have come to the conclusion that they are the only person who can fulfill your needs and provide you joy. When you allow someone to take God's place in your heart as the major source of your happiness and fulfillment, you are engaging in the act of idolatry. It is not a sin to have feelings of liking or affection for another person or to desire to spend time with them. It is a sin, however, to leave your joy in the Lord in the hopes of finding your ultimate joy in this other person. If you do this, you will be committing a sin. Take note of the prayer that David made in Psalm 16 verse 2, which reads, I say to the Lord, you are my Lord, I have no good apart from you. You will always be able to tell who you are truly worshiping by observing the source of the joy you seek. David's assertion that God is in fact his Lord is paralleled by his conviction that no one but God can give him the supreme fulfillment that his heart yearns for. That you have an idol in your heart can be determined by whether or not you believe that anything other than God is the source of the nice things you want in this life. Number 4. God will allow you to keep thinking about this person as a sign you need to pursue a relationship with him or her. To circle back around to point 2, our thoughts are a direct reflection of what is going on in our hearts. Even while it is a chance that our thoughts about someone are suggesting that we have idealized this person in our hearts, this is not the only answer that is available by any stretch of the imagination. Thinking about another person is one of the most reliable indicators that you harbor a genuine longing in your heart for that person to be a part of your life in a romantic or sexual partnership of some kind. If you don't give someone any thought at all, then it's quite improbable that God wants you to be with that person. But when you do like someone a lot and you think they are a mature Christian who you would like to date or marry one day, this should cause you to think about this person more often. This is the kind of thinking that should lead to you dating or marrying this person. Do not automatically conclude that the negative things you are thinking about this individual are an indication that anything is wrong with your heart. Take into consideration what transpired when God created Eve for Adam. Because he had clearly been thinking quite a bit about her when he woke up from sleep, he had composed a poem specifically for her. It is written as follows in Genesis 2 verses 21 to 23. Therefore the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep slumber, and while he was sleeping, the Lord took one of the man's ribs, and while he was sleeping, he filled the spot where the rib had been with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had removed from the man, he turned into a woman and brought to the man in order to complete his creation. After that, the male voice may be heard saying, This, at last, is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman since she was taken out of man. Therefore, if you find that you are thinking a lot about a certain individual, this could be a sign that you should pursue something more with this person if they have attributes that are found in the Bible and if the two of you are having a growing connection with one another. Do you also keep thinking of someone? Have you found the indications? Tell us in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like the video and press the subscribe button so that you won't miss any updates. Thanks for watching.